Yo, what up, my boys? Back with another trading video, and today we're gonna today we're gonna discuss a trading method. Let me close my PlayStation because it makes a lot of noise. Today we're gonna discuss a trading video that is kind of similar to the Hero trading video, which one, which you guys really like. Thank you guys for the likes. Thank you guys for the followers. Thank you guys for the subs. Appreciate it, but it's gonna have a little bit of a different touch to it. So. Let's go over to Fitbit. Let me make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see it as well. Hey guys, don't have to zoom in. So we're gonna go to Fitbit. We're gonna go to players. And what we then what we then what we then gonna do is filtered special. So this basically only filters out that this takes out all the all the. It's basically a filter that shows that gives all the special cards, right? And what we're then going to do is we're going to exclude SPC objective because we don't need them. And what we got right now is all the out of pack specials in the game. So I like to trade this way with cheaper players. So let's put it to like 70k because like it's, it's because of tax. I don't want to pay a lot of tax on these players. So basically, my boys, we are already done. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to go. It's kind of similar to the hero uh, filter, but what we're going to do right now, right? We're gonna click on every every um, um out of pack special, boom. And it's it's similar. It's similar to the hero trading video, but now it adds like now with this filter, it got also out of pack specials in it, right? So now you basically got more options and a lot of cheaper options. That's why I like this one. This how I this how I came up with the filter, and then I, I just put the heroes on on the on the on the video, right? So so Bonucci right now is 28k, but once again, if we go over to our, our good friend's Fitwiz, we can see for how much he actually lazy sells. Always use Fitwiz for the lazy sales, lads. So we're gonna go to sold prices and we're gonna see he's only 28.5. So boom, already Bonucci is not a buy. So we're gonna go to somebody else, um, Di Maria. Di Maria on the market. It's 37k. So how much if we buy a Di Maria, how much do we need to buy him to make profit? And is it a buy? Let's have a look. Angel Di Maria. So the concept is literally the same. You check how much he is on the market, and then you just press on uh, on the sold prices on Fitwin, Fitwis, and you're gonna see if there's a if there's a big enough a, a good enough gap between the price you can snipe him and the price you can lazy sell him. So he sells on average, I would say, for like 40k, 39k, right? 38.5, 38. So if I buy a Di Maria for 37k and I sell it for 39, how much tax do I need to pay? Let's have a look. So it's I need to get him for like 39. I have to get him under 37. So Di Maria is technically low. If I start selling him for 39k. I basically need it for 36k. So we are, we can already snipe Di Maria for under like, let's say 36k. If you buy it for 36k, you make 1k per card, right? So it's a big, it's a good start, but it's, we want bigger profit. Like we don't satisfy, we are, we are not satisfied with 1k profit. So based like, let's, let's find for like, let's find a new deal. Um, Awawar. Awawar is 22k. Let's look into him. Let's have a, let's look, let's, let's look at the cheapest price. He's 22.5. And now we're going to look him over here. Um, Awawar. Oh, my boy. I'm going to bother this. I have no idea how you write his name. <laughs> Let's do the first name. Um, Awawar. All right. How much is Awawar selling for? 23. Like 23. 23. Like around 23K, I would say. How, was, how much was he on the market? 22.5. So he is also high. The market is pretty high right now. So it might not be the, the, um, the right time to buy it, to do this. But. You will find deals. Instead of using Fitwiz, let's just use Fitbin because it makes it faster. <coughs> so Maras is 22.5. How much does he lazy sell for? Um, 23. So that's not cheap. Um, let's see if we can find another one. We're just going to keep doing this till we find a great player. Um, Mallard. Let's have a look into him. Every player works, lad. So Mallard is 14k. Lazy sells for. 15k. So every single time you snipe him under 14k, you can resell it for 15k and make like, let's say you bought it for 13.7, you make 500 coins, which is not bad. You buy a couple of them, you buy 10, you make 5k. 
just on this deal. Uh, like, like the issues, a lot of plays are up right now, which makes it a little bit tough. You need plays to be down, but even when the market is up, you can still do this method, right? You just have to find the cheap plays. Let's look at the Dries Mertens. I think Dries Mertens was a little bit low. So Dries Mertens is 24K. But if we look over here, Mertens, 24K. He's telling for 26, 25. 24, 24. So it's low, but it's not low enough. Now nah, you need it for like 22. So you guys get the premise of the of the method, right? Basically, you check the cheapest on the market and you combine the cheapest on the market with the with the last, so aka the lazy sell prices. And you can use this filter for it. Right now the market is extremely high, so you won't find a lot of deals, but on a good day, especially during the weekends, you can get a shitload of deals. Let's look at the Martinez. He's been rising since the whole day. So he's 50K. If we look into the lazies, a 49K. 50, 51, 51. So if you sniper for like, let's say like, he sells for like 51K, as you guys see, 51.5. So you basically need to sniper for like under four, like if you sniper for 48K, which I think is pretty doable for the out of back card, if it's not just for 48k, you make 1k profit per card. So, even though the market is high, you can still make some coins with this method. But imagine, imagine when the market is more active and it fluctuates a lot, right? You make way more coins. So, yeah, my guys, you guys know the premise of the method, right? Like, you got a lot of plays you can do this with. So, you just have to find the plays and just snipe and lazy yourself. We can look into Mikitarian. Let's click on him instead of going to Fitbin to make it a little bit faster. So, Henrik Mikitarian is 41.5, but he lays his sells for 42, 42.2, 42.5. So, basically, if you get him under 40k, like, if you get him under 40k, you make, like, 500 coins per card. Just by getting him under 40k, because he sells for 42.7, he is 41k. So, he needs to be a little bit cheaper. The issue is that there aren't that many cheap players, which is kind of annoying, but... I mean, you can still make it work. You just have to snipe hard, all right? Let's look into Ward Prowse. Oh, 28, but he sells for 28.2, 28.5. Not the best. Ooh, Alex Scott. Alex Scott is low, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to show the heroes because we already made a video with the heroes, right? Um, Let's see. Saul. Saul, I think, normally does really well. Let's see if he's cheap. 43. 43.5. Does he, he already sells for 45. So he, is, he sells already for more. Yeah, you can get 45 for him almost. Look, 44.7, 44.5. So this guy basically sells for 45K. Right now he's 43. So if you get this guy close to 40K, you can resell it for 45K and make some decent coins on these lazies. And my guys, it took us. We, we got like... How many, how many potentially deals do we get? This video is running for like eight minutes. And in this eight minutes, we have potentially already found four deals without having, knowing any knowledge. I didn't know none of these prizes. And you already find some plays that you could potentially keep an eye on, right? So if you keep doing this and you got a lot of pages you can go through, you will find deals. You will find plays that are too cheap. You just have to find them, right? Just what you do is like you just go here right you go here you click on the player you check what is the cheapest on the market around 30k i would say because people are gonna list this for 30k how much does he sell for lazies around 31.7 so if you get him under 30k you make some coins here right he's not low necessarily but if you snap hard enough you can get some deals right it's all about sniping under the text price um let's look this guy has I also want to look into Kubo. Yeah, let's look into these two players. They might be interesting. So Gaia is 55k. People are gonna list it for like 54k, 53 maybe your lazies. Can you lazy sell that for more? Not really. He only sells for 55, so he kind of hit his high price. It's late in the day, so normally around this time people buy the team. There's a non ten, so there's not really that much panic. But when the panic is a little bit bigger. Like maybe before six, because you can even see today, 
Like, look, before six, you got way more panic, right? And then the market just recovers. So right now, we're not in the best time to do this. Like, pre if he did this like an hour ago, I think you would have seen more deals. Because look, right, the market dropped and then it rises again. Right now, the market is high. So the deals are still deals, but not as much as you can expect during be better periods. So ooh, ooh, we might be looking at a great deal. Look into Kubo, my boys. He is kind of low. Look, Kubo is 23. Let's say you snap it for 22K, under 22K. You can resell for 24.2. And you make like 1K profit per card. So it's like, it's not a bad deal, this Kubo. Like, it's actually a good deal. I would personally trade this. So it's all about going to the out of pack cards, check for how much they sell on lazies, and literally sell them for the lazies right away. You don't hold, just sell it right away for lazies. You don't have to wait for them to go up. Just lazy seller straight away. And that's all you have to do. Easy coins. Let me know what you guys think of this method. My guys, also join my Discord. I stream daily. Uh, I, I, I got a Discord where I put, post daily tips in the Discord. I also stream daily on Twitch. So also follow my Twitch. I'm out.